as the Sochi 2014 Olympics wind down, the Russian city is getting ready to welcome a new crop of athletes. Green Bay's own Penny Greeley is chasing curling gold in the Winter Paralympic Games. Her mission to medal is a story you'll see only on NBC26. On this perfectly manicured ice, on any given day, You'll find Penny Greeley perfecting her game. I love the challenge of it. Penny's passion for wheelchair curling began just three and a half years ago, and already she's competing in the Sochi Paralympics. In international competitions where the stakes are high, I get that feeling of adrenaline and excitement that I'm going to actually be representing my country again. This isn't Penny's first go around. Back in 2004, she was a member of the U.S. women's sitting volleyball team and took home a bronze medal at the Athens Paralympics. For us to grab that bronze in the last points of the game was even more exciting because we were the underdogs. A feeling Penny hopes to repeat in Russia. For me to say that we will get gold, it could turn either way, but I think we've done what we need to do to prepare. If everybody does their job right, we should be at the top. Team skip Patrick McDonald moved to Madison from California to curl. Even with their three teammates on the East Coast, the chemistry is undeniable. We know basically how to finish each other's sentences on the ice. A bond made deeper through their painful past. McDonald suffered a spinal cord injury in the Army, and Penny lost her leg in a train accident more than 20 years ago. At the time, it was the worst thing I could have ever did to myself, um, but now it's probably one of the better things in my life. You know, I've traveled the world. I've, I'm getting to represent my country twice. They're an inspiration, and I have always said that I have learned far more from my athletes than I've been able to teach them about the sport. Coach Steve Brown, also from Wisconsin, hoping to lead Penny and her fellow Paralympians to the podium, chasing a dream for the Badger State and beyond. I hope I do them proud. I hope the Green Bay community realizes that I'm trying to do the best I can to get representation of our, our community and for the U.S. There's no sweeper in wheelchair curling, so Penny says it takes a lot of finesse to throw the 40-pound stone just right. You can watch coverage of the Sochi Paralympics on NBC26 and the NBC Sports Network starting March 7th. For a television schedule, go to NBC26.com and click on this story. And Larry Penny also is a stepmom. She works for Brown County. She's a wife, so she has to juggle all that with a very hectic training schedule. She qualifies schedule. as superwoman. Oh, she is. She's so remarkable. Certainly We're wishing her does. well.